Are you ready to watch the ultimate DIY YouTube milestone? Right there, that's what it's For me, it's a momentous occasion because I'll be able to participate in Dennis Tyrell's chopper challenge. That's huge. So I'm gonna use materials from around my shop to make the most beautiful button possible. So join in on the fun, smash that follow button. Let's get this project started. I'm picking out different colors of G10 to make the button. Red to represent YouTube, blue and yellow for the Rainy Day Forge brand colors. The polka dotted material I made a few years ago, it'll be part of my button. I think the first piece I'm gonna cut, some red. Yep. And uh, work my way from there. The pieces are cut and ground so that they fit tightly together. There's three main sections to this design, but I have to glue two of them up before working on the third. We're gonna be using five minute epoxy to uh, glue up quickly. This channel was originally a bit of a dump all. There was wakeboarding footage from a documentary I filmed, video submissions to Cineku and Comedy Coup, marketing videos that I made for a couple businesses. I've been cleaning it up and keeping everything specific to making, more specifically knife making and metalworking. This is G10 and it's a material for making knife handles. Love the yes. colors that it comes in. Holy. Oh, uh, it's close. The two sections are glued together. And now it's time to fit up that third. We are almost done the basic shape. Now we'll take it to the sander, sand it flat. Like all the texture on there is gonna really be, uh, maybe it won't be that aggressive, but I'll, I'll put it back on it first. Maybe, we'll see, we'll see. Put up. Mask up, mask up. If you're working with this material, you need to wear a mask to protect your lungs. I also have a shop back drawing a lot of the dust into it, but that's not enough. When I was sanding, I washed out the white dots on what was supposed to be the front. Easy fix, the back became the front. Let's step it up a little. We need a few supplies. To make the 1000 follower button shine a little more, we're going to put an LED light in the center triangle. We'll fill the void with epoxy and a bit of pearlescent fleck. Back onto the sander and my 2x72 inch grinder to add a bevel around the button. I want to see some dimension with this piece. I'm using scalloped belts to avoid cutting lines into the G10. These are great for shaping knife handles. A bit of hand sanding, we're going up to 600 grit. Onto the buffer, so that G10 shines. Finally, it's time to wire the LED. I use a piece of copper tape and wire from an old string of Christmas lights. I thought I'd be able to solder straight onto the battery. You learn something with every new project. Hey, wear your safety glasses. I wanted a low profile switch, so I had to make one. Gator clip for the win. Perfect, let's hang it up. This piece is gonna make a great reminder of the roots of my YouTube channel. I'll look at it for inspiration, because who knows what the future will bring, but the hard work I put forward will surely help it grow. After getting it mounted on the wall of my office, I got the email. A thousand followers, I'm in. See you in April for the Dennis Tyrell Chopper Challenge. Smash that follow button and let's get this project started. Ah. <laughs>